Hi, I'm Ben Nelson, and this is the electric motor that's going to go into my uh, Geo Metro that I'm converting to be a purely electric vehicle. Electric motors are really very simple things. They only have a couple of parts. And right in front of me, I have the motor taken apart uh, so that I could clean it up, see how it works, replace the brushes, check the bearings, that sort of thing. Uh, the middle right here, this part has the drive shaft on it, and it spins in the center of the motor. It's got an electromagnet on it, and uh, the commutator, which is where the brushes connect to put electricity into the middle of the motor. This is sort of the outside ring, which also has an electromagnet in it, and this and this electromagnets push off of each other to make the motor spin. Then on top of that, we've got both the, the two ends to the motor. This here supports the front end of the motor, and this one here is the back end, uh, which is the commutator end of this motor, and it has the brushes for transferring the electricity uh, from the power connections here into the inside of the motor. So here you can see the couple of main parts of the motor. This is the uh, sort of the most important part. Right here is the drive shaft, and then you can see in the middle is the uh, electromagnet and the commutator where the brushes uh, put power into the middle of the motor. This here is the outside section of the motor where you can see inside is uh, electromagnets which push against that to make the motor go. This is the end cap which goes onto the drive shaft end of the motor and you can see right here is a bearing that uh, allows the drive shaft to spin freely when it's uh, supported by this end cap. And the end cap is also important because that's where the bolt holes are, which are going to go into the adapter plate, which will uh, connect the entire motor onto the transmission of the Geo Metro. This is the commutator end cap, and as you can see, there's some springs in there. Now what those do is they hold the brushes firmly against the commutator. I don't have all the brushes in here right now. I've got one of them out as a sample to get some new brushes made. But these little springs right here uh, push the brush onto the commutator and hold them in place with a little bit of pressure for the electricity to transfer uh, into the electromagnet. So that's really it for the, uh, uh, the main components of an electric motor. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the motor back together so that I can uh, figure out the spacing between the motor and the transmission so that we can get the coupler uh, made up right and spaced out properly. I'd also, also like to thank Ecomodder.com for donating this t-shirt to me. Had a good time with you guys out at Hybrid Fest this weekend. Uh, thanks a lot. Take care.